can we name the name brand ketchup? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Condiments. They're like helpful food Sherpas, skillfully guiding your meal, steering you around bland snow drifts into the safe passage of well-rounded flavor profiles with the collective knowledge of all side sauces that came before, completing your journey safely, soundly, deliciously at the summit of Yummy Mountain. But, are all condiments created equal? Or are name brands truly superior to their off-brand counterparts? It's time for Knock Off Knockout, Side Goo Edition. Okay, we'll be playing this just like we played the beverages episode a while back. Yeah. In each round, we'll have four ramekins of a particular condiment in front of us, and one of those will contain the big name brand that we all know, right. or do we? Mm, yep. And then the other three will have some variety of store brand or lesser known brand version of that condiment. Whoever loses has to eat a big old spoonful of Josh sauce, <laughs> which who knows what that could be or what's in that. But let's let the tasting begin. Round one. All right, we got some ketchups here. The question is, which one is Heinz? Okay, you just wanna go down the line here? Because I'm looking at the, this one looks a little brighter slash lighter, but they're that kind one, of the same. This is the darkest Darkest. One. So we'll start here with, I don't wanna get too much, you know. That's a very- it's acidic. Fruit forward. It's good though. I'm just gonna use the same spoon, cause- Oh, you gotta taint, it's just tainted. How do, I, how do you taint it? You tainted it with other ketchup. Whatever then, I'll give you a spoon. Okay. Mm. This one is much more vinegary. It's good, man. But I wouldn't, I would say they added vinegar to ketchup. That's not just ketchup. Wow. But ketchup a, has vinegar. It's a lot more pungent. Doesn't all ketchup have vinegar? Ah. Any ketchup that's worth its salt has salt and vinegar. But not that much. It tastes oh. like baby food. You like I like that. that. I, I like the vinegar. That's got a, that's a, it's got, it's got a, a good top and a bottom to it. That, it's, it's too sweet and baby foodish for me. Baby food. Now the dark one, the dark horse. I'm so confused this right now. This is the most vinegary. This one's a close second. Hey, I'm, I'm ready to guess. Okay. I, just eat, I just eat ketchup by the spoonful <laughs> all day. Uh, uh, all right. mm, uh, I need oh. you to stab your sauce in three, two, one. I'm, we both voted for our favorites, yeah. which doesn't mean that much, okay? The Heinz brand ketchup is in ramekin number four. What, is the dark one? Okay. It's the dark one. So it was my so, second favorite one. Number one is Kroger. Number two is Market Pantry, which is Target's brand. Okay. Number three is Great Value, which is Walmart's yeah, brand. Yeah, I like Walmart's brand. I like, I'm a Target, <laughs> I'm, I'm classy. Round two. Okay, we've got four brands of mayo. One of these is Hellman's, uh, which is also known as Best Foods if you're on the West Coast. Uh huh. This one's, I would say, a little pinker, yellower. Pinker? This one's whiter. This one's the whitest one, and th these all Almost. three seem yellow. Mm. I would eat mayonnaise uh, by a spoonful as a kid. You like that? I do. I don't like that. I'm a Dukes man. True Southern mayonnaise, which is probably not gonna be one of these. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's getting more into a mayonnaise situation. That's better. There's eggs in that. Yeah. That's fake. I think that one has more, um, well, I think vinegar. Isn't there vinegar in? Mm, getting better. That was good too. That one's better than that one. I don't know if this one's better than this one. But what about this one? Is that one that better than that one? This one's the yellow. Oh, whoa! That one bites you back. <laughs> what in the world's happening with that? That's good. It's that vinegar you're picking up on, man. Yeah. You're right. Mm, I think it's too much. It might be too much. Oh, but I might like you know it. What? I'm confident. Okay. Not Three, really, though. two, one. Eh. Yep. This one, that is, that, that's my, there. Th this one is the most pungent, and all three of these are good. That one's not great. That one's horrible. This one, this is special. Special in a very special way. This must be Hellman's. The Hellman's brand is in 
Ramkin number one. No, what? Well, no. It's yeah, a- the most horrible one. It's crappy. Uh, apparently. The number two was Trader Joe's. Number three was First Street, which is Smart and Finals brand. And number four is Dukes. Dukes. Du- Dukes. Dukes. The one that you. Dukes. <laughs> you said, I'm a Dukes, man. Dukes? <laughs> you talking about Dukes? I'm a Dukes, man. Because there ain't no way y'all actually got Dukes. Round three. All right, we got a bunch of srirachas or srirachas, mm-hmm. but we're looking for the sriracha that we all know from the rooster. Hui fong <laughs> sriracha. Hui fong. Hui fong? Hui fong. Hui fong. Hui fong. The rooster. Rooster. Rooster sauce, man. Um, let's start down here. Oh. Hmm. That's good. Tastes good. Ooh. That is strong. Yeah. Mm. Woo! Yeah, boy. Woo! I gotta, go, I gotta go a little bit. I know. Easy, easy on that. It went kind of hard on the first one. Huh. Super sweet. I, I'm trying to not let the first one oh, yeah. now, mess up the now second Now my mouth one. is confused. Yeah, that's tough. That's I think tough. I actually know where this one's from. This one, this one is watery. And it's also browner. It's got a lot more pieces in it's it. It's gritty. It's gritty. Granular. Granular even. And this one's bright. Like a fish sauce. Yeah, that one's totally different. That's not it. Wow, they don't like it. They're also different. This one's not great. Granular it's brown. Down to these two. Fishy. One of these. <clears throat> uh, I'm having a hard time, but gosh, this one's hot. Yeah, that one. Okay, I'm ready to vote. Huh. Huh. All I'm, right. I'm ready to eat some ice cream if you want to know the truth. Three, uh. two, one. Yep, it's oh. definitely got to be the. Oh, Link, you are first one. really scaring me with the way that you're wielding that thing. Stevie, get scared, girl. The Hui Fong is in ramekin number two. Dang it! Oh, What's just... one? One is Texas Pete, which I, I myself was not familiar with. They, Texas they Pete makes that. a sriracha, yeah. huh? Well, it's good. And then just number Trader three Joe's. is Sky Valley Foods. Oh, Sky Valley Foods. And number four is Fix Signature. Fix? Dang. All right. Okay, that one, we should've got that one. Huh. Round four. Okay, one of these is uh, French's, the classic yellow mustard. All right. Um, Let's use paint brushes. Yeah, why not? <laughs> um, starting down here, this is kind of a middle of the road yellow. Uh, it seems to be pretty firm, and it's in the way that it sits in the ramekin. And you just paint your tongue. Hmm. Ooh, it almost. This is a good way to eat mustard. After the sriracha, like it brought out the spicy and the mustard. This one's darker. This is like. They're so different. Wow. I mean, they're both still mustard, though. This one That's is. The thing. This one is more striking, like bright and striking flavors. I would call it. This one is the brightest of the colors. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yep. Milder. But in the same family as number two. A better taste, I would say. A better taste? I think it has a... I'm, ta- I'm thinking I'm tasting paintbrush. Now this is, <laughs> number four is smooth and dark. I feel like the people deserve a uh, a, a red on link painting and vice versa for this, this final one, I'm just saying it. Would that make you happy, Stevie? It would make me and and my people well, very what? pleased in the comments. But you you rejected it. You just straight up rejected it. No, I got another paintbrush. <laughs> this is my link brush. I was saving it for you. By the way, were you not actually listening to? Don't it? even try that last one. Oh, don't even try the last. Don't one? Don't even try it. Oh wow! I mean, something's wrong with it. It's been sitting out. It's just very vinegary. Yeah. Which one do you want? What do you, what do you want me to paint? My tongue. Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> what are you asking? Do you want me to paint something on your face? No. Paint my tongue, doofus. Okay, okay, you got the mustard spot. Sorry, I missed a little bit. So that's number one, right? Yeah, that's number one, what do you think? Uh, Which one do you want? Uh, Hit me with number three, number two again. Hit me with number two. (laughs) No, hit me with number three. Let me get the bitter section of your tongue. 
Thank you. All right. Oh, no, I'm glad you're happy. I gotta try this one again. <coughs> ah. That's pungent, and I thought it was good, but. Okay. Man. Tastes like paint. So confused. I'm blown away by how smooth and horrible that is. Yeah, smooth and horrible. Okay. Oh, oh gosh, this go. is this is tough. Three, two, one. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb because I was I was I was between the two. I'm I, I'm between the one, two, and three, honestly. But are one, these your final answers? Yeah. Yeah. The French's is in ramekin number two. Ah, yes. Number one is Kroger. Number three is Plockman's, and number four is three six five from Whole Foods. Take it back to Whole, Whole Foods. Foods is, they're Good. not even using mustard seeds. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Round five. Out of all these soy sauces, we got to pick out the Kikoman. <laughs> I don't think that's the same commercial. Oh, uh, what is course, that? That's Ricola. Ricola. Oh, let's do some cough drops. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna use droppers because that's the only way that I eat my soy sauce. These are dark, liquid. Oh, that's a lot. I mean, how much soy sauce does a man need in order a to lot. make a decision about soy sauce? A lot. Uh, uh, Tastes like soy sauce to me. I mean, do you, it, there's nothing weird about it. Oh, I don't need that much, man. Oh. Ooh, that's the sa exactly the same. <laughs> you think exactly the same? I think it's exactly the same. Exactly. I don't know. I, I feel like it's a little teeny bit different. I tasted no difference. Oh, this one's smoother. No <laughs> bubbles in my dropper. Maybe that's just my technique. Whoa. Oh, really no. different. <laughs> that's a. This is like steak marinade. That's like, yeah, Allegro. That's like what yeah. my wife puts on. Her legs when she goes to the beach. Yep, that. London broil. That's what I call her when she's at the beach. <laughs> There's my London broil. Because <laughs> at that time she went to London. In shorts. Let me tell you, there are some white people in London because the sun never comes out there. Ah, uh, that's different. That's got a, that's super fishy, super fishy. Why like, you always put the fishy ones at four? It's like bad medicine. And I ain't talking about the song. Now, but I don't know, does Kikoman taste fishy already? Y'all included something that wasn't actually soy sauce, and it's this one. <laughs> but it's good. I'm trying to throw us. So these that taste I exactly the same. I always feel like it's either one or two, and like every single time that I've done this. And our blood pressure's gonna go through the roof. This one's a little salt, this one's the saltiest. Okay, I've, I've got to guess. I don't okay. know what, what to think about it. Okay, okay, let's guess. Three, two, one. All right, here we are again, oh, look right? Look at the shake. Look at the shake. Whoo! The Kikoman is in Ramakim number. Ramakim number one. Yo, brother, that so, means we, we have tied. tied. Aren't what you curious two? as to the other? Yeah. Yes. Two is Signature Kitchen, which is Safeway's brand. Pretty good. Three is LaChoy, and four is Sanjay. This is LaChoy? <laughs> yeah. Does it say soy sauce on the bottle or something else? It does not taste like soy sauce, and the last one tastes like fish sauce. But you know what? I'm happy because neither of us have to eat Josh sauce. No, Rhett, it means that we both ah! have to eat yeah. Sir Joshington's Josh sauce, squeezable sandwich butter. We're gonna enjoy that in Good Mythical More. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hey, I'm Jake. And I'm Brandon. And we're currently traveling North America in our 2004 Honda Civic, but we reside in Leavenworth, Kansas. And it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Is that a Civic ad? <laughs> yeah, it's the best kind of Civic ad. The ones where they don't show a Civic. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for Good Mythical More, where we're going to put different condiments on sugar cookies. Are we going to invent? And to find out where the Brother Mythicality is gonna land. Steer your ears towards some biscuits you can hear. Listen to new episodes of Ear Biscuits now on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts.